Ryan Cruz used Cruz Originals today, something a little different. I'm going to be diagnosing an electrical issue on a very, well at least a Harley Davidson. It's a little clapped and it's going to be a bit of a long search and I might not find it and we might utterly fail today. But it should be entertaining to watch at least, maybe. Like, subscribe, ring that bell. I'm Ryan Cruzy. That's, that's a fucking stunt piece right there. Richie Rex, you guys remember him? This is that Sportster, it's still running. It has been here since December broke down though. It's got like one electrical issue after the other. Fix one thing, something else fries immediately. I keep finding a bunch of shit melted together and ripped in half, burned through the starter main power. So I'm just gonna start fixing everything that looks like shit and go from there and see if I can make this Harley Davidson run again. That was a intro to a video right there if I can see. You guys cross your hands or fingers or fucking palms together, do some praying, something for Richard. But this isn't like a 15 hour or 35 hour job. I'm, I'm hoping for like 35 minutes. Cause we got another bike here at Dino. That we're gonna build into a stunt bike for Richard that we bought at auction, but I wanna get this thing done first before I go build him another motorcycle, because this has been sitting here a long time. Sorry, Rich, I've been busy. Richard took the exhaust off, I don't know what that is. So anyways, Richard put this ignition on, and he said since then this bike wouldn't rev above 2,000 RPMs. So I kind of went through this already and through all the wiring for that. It looks pretty good. He does have, the exhaust had burned through and was sitting on the power lead to the starter to the solenoid to the starter motor. This is his O2 sensor with some homemade wiring on it that I don't understand what this is even for. But the, uh, oh yeah, the plugs melted through. So all the wires are bonded together. So this was throwing who knows what. And I don't know which way the BCM goes on a Sportster. Same with this fucking O2. Why are they grounding out the O2 sensor? It doesn't even have a fucking tuner or anything on it. Does anybody know what this shit is? If you do, comment down below because I've never seen a fucking ground wire go from the O2 sensor on a motorcycle before like this. It looks like some homemade shit to me. I don't understand why somebody did it. Somebody help me out here. But I'm gonna start with just getting rid of this shit. I think I'll just unhook the O2s because the bike should run without them. Then I can at least eliminate that problem if that's what's going on. Why in the f those got a ground on them? I know there's somebody out there that knows and can let me know. See if she smokes anywhere. I'm, get, I'm betting on smokes. I'm gonna do what I should have done in the first place. I'm gonna test the battery because I think that battery is shit. It's real dead. And deader. Fucking deader yet, even. It's in the negative deads. Mm. That sucks. I do not have a battery, but I do have one that I could hook up and make work. At least I get more practice taking this battery in and out. Not quite the right battery. Right amount of juice though. I can test the bike and then get a battery coming. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> it's making power at the ground. And nothing that's positive. It could be, but this one's black and this one's red. 
Love working on Harley Davidsons, especially stunt rider bikes. They're my favorite. Look what I found. The key to the puzzle. Hi, right, Governor. I've solved the mystery. Having the right battery for this would be awesome. There we go. Hit me with the key. This is gonna work. It did come on for a second. Did it turn off again? Yeah. So keys off. Only a second. I don't have a f***ing clue how to figure out what that is. Also, what what the what the hell are these? Does anybody know? These are like extensions. To just extend the, the harness, I think. And they gotta be grounded externally, which... Why the hell would you extend it? It doesn't make any sense. This f***ing thing should run without these sons of bitches. Okay, let's give her a try. I'll figure this out right now. I promise. Yeah. Stop, look, and think. I almost didn't listen to my own shit right there. I almost just gave up on this thing thinking, like, the BCM is bad. But... This guy right here has your bank angle sensor in it. I just had it hanging out here, so it's gotta be sitting right where it has to be sitting, or it kicks the bank angle sensor and shuts everything off. Just like that. I, I figured that shit out. Man, okay. If I could bolt this battery up, then we could probably start this thing. I've got some hope now, Rich. I got some hope, dog. There's zero oil in it. <laughs> Holy shit. Probably all in the case. This bike's been sitting so long that these things will sump down into the case. Which, if I put oil in it, it's gonna fill it all back up and I don't really know which way to go. It does not have a new oil filter on it, so I don't think the oil was changed or any of that shit. We haven't really done any work on it except Richard took the exhaust off and I messed with that wiring harness. Richard's gonna need good stuff. Klotz Racing, 60 weight, full synthetic. Out here in Arizona, it's hot. It's already, it's May. It's almost June and it's in the hundreds. But uh, anything over 85 on an air-cooled motor, you should run 60 weight. Klotz Racing, they do not promote us or sponsor us or anything. This is just a free shout out for Klotz Racing because I've been running this shit forever. It smells good too, like mineral oil. And I worked for Jim Nasty Customs and we ran these 155 inch Pro Stock motors that were like $23,000. And if you didn't run this oil, the warranty was void. So I've been running that oil ever since. In the summertime, in the wintertime, we run 2050 because it's cold out here too. And you can pull the spark plugs out, and just crank the motor over and see if it pumps up any oil. If it does, that's where it went. If it doesn't, it means you probably already drained it and forgot about it. Or shit burns a lot of oil. Well, that's just passing. I'm gonna give her a quart. Just give her one quart, Pepsi. What do I need? 17 millimeters. It's the wrong one. Damn it. I was just gonna pop this oil filter off real quick because it's been sitting and it's not got no oil in it, but I pumped the whole system up, so it's gonna make a mess. Watch this shit. <laughs> Done draining, take the oil filter off. It's a lot cleaner. Still not perfectly clean, but it's about that much cleaner than what it would have been if you just would have screwed it off. I don't remember where I learned that a long time ago. Maybe MMI. I got that 
that's it, that plug wires. That's probably why I was cutting out real bad and shutting off. We picked me up some plug wires for Richard Sportster and a battery. Bob wanted me to tell you that he's had a few people come in to see the museum just off your video. Yeah? Oh, that's awesome. Bob's the man. Go see Bob at Buddy Stubbs Harley Davidson and see the museum. Look at this. Plug it into where it goes. To where she goes, bros. No bullshit extensions. Man, knocked out so much shit. Just gotta fucking switch that battery. That dirty cocksucker. Did you find the problem? Yeah, like you said, bad plug wire. This fucking. Get it. O2 sensor extensions. One of the plugs was melted all the way through, so the wires were all melted together. I just took those out, got rid of them. His power lead for his battery or for his starter was the O2 sensor and exhaust. It dug all the way into it. Fix some other little things. Change the oil. Put a filter in it. Plenty of gas. You see the oil flow and you shine a flashlight down a sportster or a soft tail. You should be able to see like a current flowing in the oil. That means the oil pump's working properly. That thing's pumping really good. And it did fill the oil bag back up to where it should be. So it was low on oil, but it was probably all sitting in the tank. So just got some fresh oil, fresh filter running buy a project because Richard needs to unload this this kid can't afford to fix this thing it's got a lot of good shit on it just she don't run too good the motor needs rebuilt I would say for sure so I'm gonna close on that because I'm going to adjust the primary chain tomorrow and see if I can stop that motor noise down there. And if I can, then I'm gonna take it to Harley Davidson and let them diagnose what's going on because it is a computer issue. When you roll on it, it shuts off the, the power to the motor, but the power to everything else is still on and the check engine light comes on and then it will fire back up again. So I'm not gonna just chase my dick from front to back in this bike trying to find that. It would cost too much money. Harley Davidson can put it on a scanalyzer like a HD tech and they can just find that shit and fix it. So I'll take it to them, have them find it for me, then I'll fix it. Um, God knows what on this thing. And hopefully I can get rid of that motor noise. It sounds like primary chain, probably a broken primary chain tensioner shoe. So I'm gonna check all that stuff tomorrow. If it is the shoe, it's kind of a job to do. So I don't really wanna do that tonight because it's time to go home. And on that note, I am Ryan Cruzy. This is a Sportster. It sure is. We go check out our Patreon. Helps us keep doing cool shit like this. We got uh, podcasts and we can put videos on there. So there's going to be some of the unedited and some of the shit that gets cut and the stuff that's just a little too much for YouTube. We're going to start dropping on our Patreon now. So check that out. And we give stuff away every month on there, every two months, depending on how big that shit is, we're giving away. We're going to announce the new thing. I don't know what the fork Trent did with it, but. We're gonna give away a Clockworks windshield next. And everything you need is on cruiseoriginals.com. Check out our page, like, subscribe. There's a lot of dope shit on there, I promise. Your mom will love what we're doing here. Peace!